I tripped, fell, and hurt myself. I injured myself tonight on uh, the run at the park, Butterfield Park. It was uh, right after I had completed three miles. I think I got 3.19 miles when the accident happened. My right foot clipped something, uh, a piece of uh, elevated concrete on the path. And uh, I knew it was there. I see it there every day. But uh, I, I, I didn't notice it tonight for some reason. Or probably it was because of uh, I had poor equipment. I was using a shoe that I'm not supposed to run in. Or it could just be that uh, I was distracted by the future. I was thinking about a 10K race coming up on Sunday and a 5K coming up uh, a uh, race coming up on the 28th of November. That would be the following Sunday because I'm doing the New York Road Runners uh, special virtual 5K thanks 5K event. And so maybe one of or two of those uh, reasons caused me to have the injury or it could be number three, which is I shouldn't be running at night at the park. So I'm injured and I don't know when I'll be able to run again. In fact, what, what happened when I hit the ground and I hit the ground hard, I fell on my hands. I've cleaned them up a little, but uh, I had uh, sand or pebbles embedded in my hand. I had to dig it out with, 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 a, with, with uh, a needle or a pin and so I hit the ground hard and um, because the, the right leg hit the, the, the uh, raised pavement first that's what I think sustained the most damage. I fell on my left side hurt my uh, left arm uh, the elbow and the knee and I can feel it but uh, it's a pain that I can deal with. What I can't do is uh, extend my right leg. I can't get full extension of it. And I think it's something around the knee area that's damaged because I tried to run. And um, I had to follow the, the, the coach's rule. Bruce Robinson always said, if uh, you have to limp when you run or you're limping when you're running, then, then you should not be running. So. I was trying to run and I noticed I was limping <laughs> badly and so I, I, I just shut it down. I walked uh, the rest of that mile and then I just shut it down and then I walked for two more miles after that. I think that two mile walk took me about 42 minutes to complete but I just had to fill out the time, the, 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 that was the time I would have been using to, to complete my 10 mile run in total. So I just went ahead and walked. So tomorrow is Thursday. I may be able to do something Thursday, but I'm not counting on it. After I clean myself up and uh, get some <laughs> Neosporin or equivalent uh, antibacterial um, cream then I'll get some rest tonight and see what it feels like tomorrow likely I will have to take Thursday and Friday off and maybe I do a little run on uh, Saturday night and Sunday get back to regular running but we'll see Attention, please. They're trying to release the dog. All right, I'm in Inglewood, California. Yeah, I just uh, came out of a funeral service. 
for our sister Webley, Julia or Julia Webley. And I'm thinking I may try walking tonight. And if the walk is doing well and uh, the right knee is feeling okay, because I know I hit that right knee, I can feel it. Uh, <laughs> oh boy, if I can uh, jog a little bit, I'll do so. So it's all depends on what the body will do. But I'm no, in no rush to do anything drastic uh, coming back from injury. Always go slow. Don't want to lose any fitness. And that's the uh, tragedy with, uh, for a lot of runners. They want to do too much too soon. Get back where they left off without allowing the body to heal. All right. <laughs> Time to heal. Slept okay last night. Didn't get enough uh, hours as I uh, was supposed to, but we'll get some more hours tonight. Mm -hmm. 